What's up you guys? Welcome back to Jen Gaga's World. Today I come to you with a quick unboxing. Now you're noticing these boxes are already open. So yes, I've technically unboxed on my own already, but I wanted to share with you just because I noticed that when I was looking up this product, there wasn't really that many reviews out there. And I know it's a um, woman owned company here in the US and I definitely wanted to support. And also these are a lot more affordable than most of the products out there and they were available. They didn't say they were in stock. They said that it could take a couple weeks for delivery, but I was glad to, I'm glad to report that it actually came within about two, max three weeks. No, probably about two weeks, but it's, it's definitely not the same um, equipment that I would expect to use at the gym. It's a little bit different quality. It's a lot more lighter weight and you'll see what I mean when you see the bar. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I could say that it's pretty much the weights there. So, I mean, really you just need to have the weight in order to ultimately do your workouts before I take any longer. Let's go ahead and just get started. So if you're interesting, definitely keep watching. So if you're still watching, then that's because you're interested in what we got today. So I didn't get the dumbbells. What I ended up ordering was the barbell. So I got the barbell bar and then I ended up getting, so the standard, standard product comes with the barbell bar and then you get the um, two pound, two 10 pound weights, two five pound weights and two three pound weights. And you'll see those in just a moment. But because I'm used to usually lifting, I want to say about max 60 pounds or so in the gym. Clearly, I haven't been at the gym in a couple months, so I'm going to have to work my way back up to that. But I didn't want to have to pay separate shipping and all that later on. So I went ahead and added the extra 30 pounds just so that I can already have it when I get the product. And so I ended up getting the two extra 15 pound weights, which is the extra 30 pounds. So all the way, all, let's see. So that's so two 10 pound weights, that's 20. Two five pound weights, that's 10, so that's already 30 pounds. And then two three pounds weight, pound weights, that's um, six pounds. So that's a total of 36 pounds that comes with your um, the bar. And this bar isn't like your typical bar that you would use at the gym. Normally that bar alone weighs. This is probably, I'd say max, maybe three pounds. So it's not like you're adding much weight with this. Um, but as far as the the other uh, 30 pounds, once you add the 30 pounds into that, that's about, because what did I say? So 20, 36, and then another 30. So that's about 66 pounds worth of weight that you're adding. And I figured in the future, if I wanna keep adding more, then I'll make sure that I just purchase more weights um, or larger weights. But for now, just to get myself back into a routine, this is gonna work. So again, this, this is the, what the barbell looks like. And I'm sitting on my little um, padding here on the ground. You can't see it in the video, but it's like a little, oh, here it is. It's like a little yoga mat so that it doesn't make loud sounds. Let's start with the smaller ones. So it comes packaged. It did come in two separate orders. It also came with these cute little, um, the little clips, which are a must. Normally at the gym, you won't even... Half the time you don't really need the weights unless, or the clips unless you have a bunch of weights, but these you'll need. And they're cute because they're custom to this, the bar. And so you can see what they look like. They're smaller than your average uh, clip that, that you would see at the gym. They're just right for these. Okay, so these are your cute little three pounders. The one thing that I would critique is that they don't have the number. So if you didn't know, and because like when I first got the bigger ones, I got the bigger weights first, I wasn't sure. And I was trying to sit there and figure like how much the weight was. So like I said, this bar, yeah, it's anywhere between two or three pounds because this is three pounds. So this is a three pounder here. So you get two of these. So I'll probably grab a Sharpie to it and just write the number three, just so that I know for going forward. Then you have 
the five pounders. See these? These will probably be more what, you know, you could start to, I don't really recall ever using anything less than five pounds at the gym, not tooting my own horn, but I mean, five pounds is pretty light as it is. So these are five. So this is 10 pounds here. So that came together in one package. And then these are the 10 pounders. These feel heavier than 10 pounds, but I guess it's about right. So these the pink ones are the 10 pounders. So you get two of these. See, boom, you get two of these. these. This is 20 pounds just right here. These are the 15 pounders. I had to kind of change my stance because these are getting heavier. Check that out. So this alone, this is 30 pounds right here. And they don't really have much grip, so you gotta be careful when you put them down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just get them all hooked up together so that way you can see what they look like all set up. I haven't done this because I didn't have the little clamps, so I'm excited to see how they would look all together. So. Stay tuned and I'll make sure to fast forward this part. like so you can see that's the 15 pounder 10 pounder 5 pounder and 3 as you saw I went ahead and drew that in myself I may have to buy a little padding like little um, like in between each because it's straight metal it looks plastic but it's straight metal and so it does the clinking sound really bad like really loud so if I were to have feedback for them would be to have a way to kind of grip these because they're so flat so it's hard and you can, if you don't, if you're not careful, you'll slam your fingers. Um, and also have like a little grip and like a little, almost like a, a gap so that it's not, it, or like a little rubber edge somewhere so that when they clink together, it's not so loud. And I'll give you an, an example. See, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. But yeah, so right here you have 66 pounds worth 66 and if you figure this bar is probably anywhere between two to three pounds You're about looking at about 70 pounds worth of weight just right here So my daughter wants me to try to lift this I'll try but it's been a while So I don't know and I'm not in gym clothes But we'll see I think my dog's interested too <laughs> All right, let's see what happens you Might need to don't hurt yourself let's See Normally I would do sumo squats with these, so. Just pick it up. <laughs> it's not bad. I can't lift that. And see, you gotta be careful. <laughs> you gotta be careful with your toes because this is so uh, heavy. It's not very wide like your typical bar. And it's, you know, depending on how wide your stance is, if you're in socks, you might get your toes. 
but yeah all in all i think it'll be a good it was a good purchase i could see myself needing more weight already just because i didn't expect that it would be that easy to pick up pretty much you guys that completes this video um i am excited because i could do a lot say hi daisy she's crying because my son's over in the kitchen area she wants to go outside um but yeah i'm excited because i could do you know good mornings with this i could do the squats i could do the hip thrusts i can do arm weight you know arm workouts so so i have all sorts of different ideas that i can do with this this is a good start um, as far as pricing, I know some of you are probably going to be in cur uh, curious or inquiring about pricing. I want to say the pricing with everything, if I'm not mistaken, it was a little under, a little over 400, but that included the shipping as well. $50, I believe it was like $55 for shipping. I can, um, if you really want to know that information, definitely comment down below and I'll get the pricing and all that and I can include it. If you don't want to pay, uh, pay for it outright, you can do it in payments. I do know they have that as an option, but because the Makeup Academy got canceled, I move those funds over to this next venture. So I figure if I'm stuck being at home, I can't do makeup school, I can only sit there and try to keep working on myself. So other than that, I hope you all enjoyed watching. And if you have any questions, like I said, make sure to comment down below. And also hit that like but button. And if you're not already subscribed, please make sure to do so and turn on the notification bell. Because I will be setting up a little workout area in my garage soon. I have a couple things coming. I'm not a fitness guru by any means. I'm just here to work on myself. So if you're interested in some of those workouts, definitely let me know. So thanks again so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.